and gentlemen, at this time we ask that you please rise and remove your caps for the reciting of the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Matthew Heath, and please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem, performed by Kendall Kennedy. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets were clear the bombs burst in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Connecticut IB Academy's 18th annual commencement ceremony. I'd first like to address the SEBA seniors who are we honoring this evening through the virtual ceremony. Although this graduation is most likely not what you had initially imagined, I hope that you will recognize the time, attention to detail, and effort that was put in it to celebrate with you while replicating as many of our SEBA graduation traditions as possible. I would also like to recognize the Honorable Mr. Brian Hall, Chairman of the East Hartford Board of Education, Mr. Nathan Quinnell, Superintendent of East Hartford Public Schools, Ms. Anne-Marie Mancini, Deputy Superintendent of East Hartford Public Schools, as well as the East Hartford Board of Education, Town Council, and Central Office for their continuous support and advocacy this year. Joining us in celebration are guests that were and continue to be part of the SEBA family. These include previous members of the SEBA staff who continue to support SEBA students. We thank you. I would also like to take this time to recognize the entire SEBA staff for their tireless efforts, unconditional love and patience, and infinite wisdom. The SEBA staff has inspired these graduates and built relationships with them that will continue beyond graduation. During these incredibly challenging times, the SEBA staff has continued to be innovative and craft learning experiences that reach students at home through virtual platforms. They have been available to seniors for academic support or just to check in, and they have put together several tributes for them to enjoy. One example was sharing slightly embarrassing pictures of ourselves as high school seniors to show our love and support. I believe this speaks volumes about the SEBA staff and how much we truly care. Last but not least, I'd like to welcome and thank you, the SEBA families, for instilling a love of learning and importance of education in your SEBA student. We as educators cannot do this alone and it is with it, your partnership that these graduates are ready to pursue their dreams and tackle the challenges that lie ahead on their continued journey to success. Over the past three months, the media has had countless news stories about how we are in unprecedented times, about all of the experience that we, but especially graduates, have lost, and the fact that we are all in this together. I'd like to briefly address these three thoughts. We are in unprecedented times. The fact is, your IB education has prepared you for unprecedented times. I'm not sure if you've considered this. 
Your IB education has taught you to be open-minded to possible solutions and differing viewpoints. It has taught you to seek knowledge from a variety of sources, to analyze and synthesize, and to promote more inquiry. And it has taught you to have a global perspective, thus understanding that one event in one location in the world could impact us all. These are the very skills and knowledge that politicians, medical health professionals, professors, and scientists today need to work towards a cure and make decisions that literally impact life and death. You have been prepared to face unprecedented times like this with resiliency and grit. The media has highlighted all the experiences that we, but especially graduates, have lost. The virus has forced us to quarantine for our safety, and it, we have missed out on important holidays, events, and normal everyday experiences. Feelings of sadness, grief, and loss are normal, but I urge you to think not about what you've lost, but to think about what you've gained during this time. Life is so much about how we choose to look at things. I hope that you've gained an appreciation for time spent at home with your loved ones, and that you've reached out to connect with your friends and maintain those relationships. I hope that you've appreciated some extra time that you had to engage in hobbies or learn something new. I hope that you've gathered up funny moments and experiences during quarantine that you would never had had otherwise. And lastly, I hope that you've had some time to reflect upon your life and truly appreciate the blessings that you have, both big and small. I hope you are truly grateful for SEBA and for the SEBA family. I know that we are grateful for you, the class of 2020. Think about all these things that you've gained and how relevant they are as you transition to college and university life. Lastly, the media has shared the phrase, we are all in this together. The SEBA family has long had this motto. Wherever your life takes you, remember that the SEBA family will always be here for you. Be sure to rely on us and on your loved ones when you need us. We will see each other again, and we will continue to host SEBA alumni events. I think we have all learned that just because someone isn't physically there next to you, it doesn't mean that they aren't there for you. Similarly, even though we aren't physically together for this graduation ceremony, the SEBA family has never been closer. On behalf of the entire SEBA family, I want to congratulate the class of 2020 on your many accomplishments and wish you the best on your journey. Good evening and welcome all SEBA staff, parents, and honored guests. And I especially want to welcome my peers, Connecticut IB Academy's class of 2020. I am glad you have all made it here even in our current circumstances. I believe that now, while times are tough, is the best time to look back on our lives before, reflect, and appreciate. March 12, 2020 ended like any other day. We all went home after our never-ending school day to type up essays, complete math homework, or probably work long, hard hours on a biosome. I can confidently say that not one of us knew that that day would be the last day of in-person learning at our high school. Unfortunately, for most of us, this would also be the last day of free in-person learning as well. Maybe if we knew, we would have shown up on time, participated in discussions, or stayed all the way awake during class. Most importantly, I think we would have appreciated each other a little bit more. We may not be able to go back and change these things, but we can take the time now to celebrate our great achievements and the completion of a very important chapter of our lives. When we first entered SEBA, a small school, which was far away from home for some of us, we had no idea the friends that we would make, the staff we would meet, or the memories we would create. It seems we were just freshmen in Mrs. Buddy's classroom doing the mannequin challenge, and it feels like just yesterday, Dr. Campbell went on about an iconic, an iconic well thought out lecture on the difference between commas and semicolons, and why they're so imperative. And then came our inauguration into the DP. We were grown now. We had difficult work, high levels of stress, and had to start thinking about our futures all at once. It was in these moments that I developed an admiration for our motivation. 
We worked hard and stuck together during tough times. Now here we are, experiencing our long-awaited senior year, but in a far more difficult way than we anticipated. I can speak from experience that, that being told to stay home during this pandemic while battling senioritis was a, is a cha- was a challenge like no other. But I have full confidence, knowing each of you, that we, would, that we have pulled through with a strong finish. Though we may not have been able to pop out at prom, enjoy senior skip day with each other, or even walk across the stage together, I am grateful for all of the time we did have collectively and wouldn't change anything about it. And I cannot forget about our parents and family members. You have stayed by our sides while we, when we broke down or needed some help. Thank you for all of your sacrifices and the car rides too. Thank you also for your continued involvement even as we began learning from home. The process was uncomfortable and confusing for all of us, but you came through. We could not have done this without you. This is as much of your graduation as it is ours. I am truly honored to have to have an opportunity to speak on behalf of a group of students who are motivated, bright, and amazing people. Over the past four years, we have cried, laughed, and fought. But most importantly, we have grown to be mature young adults. I know that each and every one of us is capable of so much, and we of course owe this to our experience at SEBA. We can use the communication skills we've developed in doing essay and CAS, the thinking skills we've developed in TOK, and the work ethic we've developed in the DP to make a difference in our world. I believe in all of you, and I can't wait to see how far you go. Thank you for the lessons. Thank you for the support. Thank you for becoming a part of me. Thank you, Steve, the family. My fellow Board of Education members, mayor, elected officials, superintendent, all high school principals, cabinet members, administrators, and staff. Welcome to the graduation of the class of 2020. Although we are not together in one venue, we are together in celebration. There are times in life that you really find out who you are, what makes you happy, and what makes you unhappy how to deal with the situation, how to avoid a situation. Some of those decisions are easy. Some of those decisions need time and patience for clarity. A decision of what college to attend, a decision on joining the military, or a decision to go straight to the workforce or to start a career. Where will my next chapter take me? Am I prepared to face any challenges or adversities in my future? Have my past experiences opened my eyes and prepared me for what comes next? I cannot stand here and answer any of those questions. But what I do know, you are some amazing students who adjusted overnight. You are some amazing students who thought out the process and continued in this journey to reach this height tonight. You faced the unknown out of nowhere. You may have had some fear. You may have had some doubt. But I stand here with pride as the East Hartford Board of Education Chairman, celebrating every single one of you, which are winners in this fight. East Hartford Public Schools Class of 2020. I do not need a theme for you tonight because every single one of you are the theme. You will be remembered in history that you did not let the situation keep you from making it here tonight. 
The class of 2020, who could not walk across the stage to receive their diploma, but are graduating many, determined to make a change. The class of 2020, I could not be more proud. There was no warning of what we would endure, but with the support of your family and each other, you are walking tonight in a new door. There is no doubt, I will hear many names again. I will hear many of the successes in your life. I wanna personally thank you and your family for letting East Hartford Public Schools be an academic part of your young lives. I leave you with some words that sustain me throughout the years. When you look in the mirror, like who you are. When you look in the mirror, always be proud of who you are. When you look in the mirror, no matter how successful you may be, stay humble. When you look in the mirror, be that person that not only cares about their own life, but be that person that cares to make a difference in other people's lives. Here they come, world. Get ready for the class of 2020. <laughs> stay steady and stay strong. Your future is on a path to be great. You made it. You did it. Continue to be that bright and shining light. When you reflect on all you have accomplished these past 12 years, do not focus on the mistakes you made. Focus on the good times, the friends you made, and the right choices that got you here. I extend my hand to you, not my elbow, no elbow bumps here. Because you are the ones that are going to make it a better world that sometimes seems upside down. You're going to continue to grow and learn and turn this world around. Help us to make a change. Lord knows we need it now. The curtain of life has unfolded for you tonight. You will have another stage to cross. You will have another stage to climb up to. You will have another stage to appear in your life. The class of 2020, who had faith over fear, be safe and be well, have a great remainder of the year. Congratulations. Good afternoon. Superintendent Quinnell, Board of Education members, Chairman Hall, teachers, parents, and East Hartford graduates. This year, your year, will be the year to remember. Traditions have been set aside and the world seems distant and upside down. This year will go in history as a year that changed the world and your class of 2020 will be the generation in class to redefine it. To all the graduates, I would like to extend my sincerest congratulations on your achievements, my best wishes for your future endeavors, and a few words of encouragement during these unprecedented times as you prepare to embark upon new paths of exploration and achievement. As you begin a new chapter, your class has been handed an opportunity to turn things right side up with new order and greater purpose that brings new ways of working, more opportunities to all, greater equity and change the world 
as we presently know it. So think beyond yourselves. This world is full of people who think of themselves first and fail to understand that we all have a responsibility to ourselves, our families, and one another. In our connected world, imagine the intentional good that one thoughtful moment might be able to produce. If more people had that imagination, the will and the awareness to pursue it, we might accomplish good at a scale and significance unmatched in history. Be resilient and adapt to the shifting world. Resilience isn't about putting up walls and staying still. Resilience is about moving and using your challenges and fears as a springboard on which to leap from adversity into new opportunity. It isn't about being fearless. It is about taking courageous leaps rather than getting trapped in paralysis. The fear that naturally comes with adversity is a signal that you're standing in front of a great opportunity. Remain true to your core values. Your life will be immeasurably enriched by the new connections you will make and the new experiences and new ideas you will encounter. Your values are your personal inventory of what you consider the most important in your life. Safeguard and hold them near. They will always be your internal compass. And while traditions and celebrations and graduations not, may not be part of your transition, your administration and the Board of Education have strived to make your graduation meaningful while ensuring health and safety for all. If your next steps are to taking you new places, exploring new opportunities, or deepening your roots in East Hartford, whether you are entering the workforce, joining the armed forces, or continuing your education, I wish you the very best. So even though we can't have the pomp because of the present circumstances, it should never diminish the personal pride and satisfaction you should feel on your great achievement. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am proud of you and your accomplishments. Congratulations to our families, our faculty, and the students of the class of 2020. Today, you follow a time-honored tradition in a unique fashion. Today, you turn the tassel and graduate from East Hartford Public Schools. While today's times have called for measures that are certainly different, I want each of you to know that one thing that will never change is the pride that we have in you, the appreciation we share for how hard you've worked, and the gratitude for the efforts of your teachers, your parents, and your loved ones. Today, I am so proud in our East Hartford Public School graduates as you virtually cross the stage and complete your journey here in East Hartford. Today's world is an uncertain world. Just three months ago, I'd never used the phrase novel coronavirus. I didn't know what PPE was, and I certainly had never hung out in a Google chat. That has changed. However, today, I don't want to talk about what is different. I want to talk about what is the same. I want to talk about the lessons that you've experienced in East Hartford Public Schools. And I want to take this final moment to cheer you on and cement this identity as we move forward. As you cross the virtual stage today, here are three certain things in an uncertain world that will lead to certain success. Number one, unprecedented perseverance. We are a system, we are a community that believes in rising again, again, and again. Life will continue to throw challenges at you that will knock you down. In East Hartford, you have continually showed your ability to rise again, and this lesson will carry and sustain you. Number two, hard work always works. As a school system, we believe in the power of sweat equity. I want one more time to remind you that nothing great is ever achieved without great effort. As life progresses, many will attempt to sell you shortcuts and will at worst despise the grind. Ignore it. Keep working. Keep plugging. Great breakthroughs are ahead. And finally, number three, don't be good, be great. 
we all rise to the level of expectation we set for ourselves. EHPS is a system that believes from high expectations come great results. Never settle for so-so. Go the extra mile, push for more. Class of 2020, you have great things ahead for you. And it's with admiration and confidence that I get this chance to wish you all well for ahead. Godspeed, take care of yourself, take care of someone else, and God bless. I would like to thank the parents and guardians that have been involved in the SEBA Parent Advisory Council throughout the past four years. Thank you for taking the time to be involved in your SEBA students' education and give us valuable feedback. The PAC's mission is to support the SEBA community and promote a positive academic and social environment for all students. PAC's support is invaluable to SEBA. In particular, I would like to recognize parents of SEBA seniors, Shella Rose Geronimo, Ramadan Gary, and Marissa Talentino. Thank you so much for your efforts throughout this year. And Shella and Marissa, you will be missed next year. Each year, we select an individual who has supported the Connecticut IB Academy, who has gone above and beyond to make SIBA what it is today. This year, the Friend of SIBA Award is presented to Mr. Rodney Moore. As a member of SIBA's founding staff, Mr. Moore taught at SIBA for almost 20 years. He helped found and build the IB program and worked continuously to foster a high quality science education for his students. He is passionate about equity in education and providing a high quality education to students who are most deserving. Mr. Moore also served as a mentor to many new SEBA teachers. As one of the founding fathers of SEBA, we would like to recognize Mr. Moore for his exceptional contributions to the development of SEBA into one of the best schools in the region. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Rodney Moore. It can be argued that there has never been a single accomplishment that can be credited to just one individual person. Rather, accomplishments are due to a system of supports that surrounds a given individual during trials and mistakes along the way. Each scholar sitting before us has had a journey of ups and downs, successes and failures. It is because of members of this virtual audience that they have completed four challenging and rigorous years in two IB programs. At this time, each graduate will recognize one special person along his or her journey by presenting a rose in recognition of and thanks for the support, love, and encouragement that he or she has received along the way. Graduating seniors, friends, and family, my name is Nicole Sousa. 
More than anything, I wish I had the ability to deliver this speech in person, looking at all your smiling faces. Never in my four years of high school would I have expected something like this to happen. I know from personal experience that the class of 2020 was not too keen on the idea of having our graduation in the East Hartford Auditorium. We even went as far as calling tent renters. However, I'm not too sure that this is what we had in mind as an alternative. Regardless of the following circumstances and the sacrifices we've had to make during this difficult time, I would like to take this as an opportunity to talk about all of the positive attributes we've gained during this experience and others like it that will in turn be beneficial for the rest of our lives. Since the first day of kindergarten, for some of us preschool, we've been taught to be positive members of society with common core attributes. When you are told these things year in and year out, over and over again, they become just words, losing their meaning and causing passionate eye rolls every time a teacher lists them. Now, more than ever, the graduating class has had to put these words into action and has learned the true meaning behind them. Flexibility. During this pandemic, a lot has been taken from us, but we've still had the ability to make online school work for us, working from home and student athletes still finding a way to train. Patience. As a class, this has never been one of our strong suits. However, we've learned that in a time like this, we cannot expect everything to go our way. We have to have faith that everything will work out as long as we push through to the end. Determination. Never before have I seen more of us want to give up and quit. You've never seen senioritis like this. Despite this, here we stand today with our caps and diplomas in hand. These are skills that will never go away. They will be used to combat difficult situations, big or small, regardless of where we end up in life. More than these will be obtained along the way. In closing, I would like to say thank you to all of our wonderful teachers for guiding us through one of, one, one of the most challenging and influential paths in our lives. Thank you for pushing us all the way until the end and seeing the passion and abilities in all of us. Thank you to our parents for the countless hours of support and motivation, especially now. And a special thanks to my fellow classmates. Thank you to the class of 2020 for making these four years some of the best. We are all gonna move on to do amazing things. Class of 2020, we made it and we made history. Good morning, Siva! Parents, family members, and friends, do not be alarmed. This is how I typically greet the school every Tuesday morning for the announcements. My name is Dante Talamini, and I am a graduating member of the class of 2020. I would like to take these next few moments to speak to all of you from this virtual podium. It has been a long journey for each and every one of us to reach this point in our lives. Today, we are graduating from high school. It may sound foolish for me to state the obvious, but I say it with complete levity. Today, we are graduating from high school. The past four years have been an adventure, to say the least. Everyone has had to fight through their own crucibles here at SEBA. I firmly believe that many of us have helped one another through these challenging times and even through the one we are all facing now. Since March 12th, our last day of on-site school, I've been reflecting on my time here at SEBA. I wondered if I made the right choice in coming here, whether I would have been better off at another school more suited to my interests and future careers. Though, here and now, speaking to all of you, I firmly believe that I made the right choice. It is not the technical resources nor the subject offerings that make SEBA special in my eyes. It is the people. I can only smile thinking that I know the name and face of every classmate I am graduating with this year, every teacher and administrator in the building, and even some of the custodians. I cannot say I would have made the same personal relationships with so many people at another school. This graduation ceremony is not the one we all foresaw ourselves taking part in. I would have never imagined delivering a speech such as this to a camera, yet this is our reality. I say this not with anguish, but with gratification and happiness. We are fortunate to be here now in this time and place. After all, we have received a high school education from the number one public school in Connecticut. To each of my classmates, never forget you're one of the people that made this school number one. You were and are part of a system that is bigger than yourself. Do not let your high school experience or your adversities define you. Continue to work and improve yourself to become the person you want to be. It will not be easy pursuing or even finding your dream, but I believe that you can, and if you so choose, will find the path to your own happiness and self-fulfillment. 
Measure the success of your life, not in currency or years, but in memorable experiences and genuine relationships. And remember, the price of anything is the amount of life you're willing to give for it. Lastly, I would like to say thank you, SEBA staff, and thank you, Class of 2020. Mr. Brian Hall and members of the East Hartford Board of Education, I am pleased to present the Class of 2020 to you and to certify that the graduates have completed all requirements for high school graduation as set forth by the State of Connecticut Department of Education and the East Hartford Board of Education. From West Hartford, Noah Beckham. From Middletown, Sarah Bell. From Manchester, Deborah Boyty. From East Hartford, Jason Castillo. From Hartford, Paula Castro. From Mansfield, Gregory Cecil. From Hartford, Justin Crow. From East Hartford, Adrian Cruz. From Stafford, Nialix Escado. From East Hartford, Antonio Figueroa. From East Hartford, Casia Flynn. From Hartford, Brianna Forbes. From Hartford, Angie Garcia. From Hartford, Karina Garcia. From East Hartford, Elijah Geronimo. From Tallinn, Saja Gary. From East Hartford, Matthew Heath. From East Hartford, Jonathan Hollis. From Manchester, Matthew Hughes. From East Hartford, Albany Hunt. From Vernon, Fahad Ilyas. From East Hartford, Kyle Janty. From Andover, Clarice J. Jayarikwama. From Hartford, Kendall Kennedy. From Hartford, Kayla Letman. From Manchester, Ali Mohammed. From East Hartford, Bao Tian Nugen. From Southington, Florence Ojede.
from Tallinn, Kristen Otang. From Coventry, Rauf Uda. From Manchester, Aaron Pinedo. From Manchester, Indy Ramakamud. From Ellington, Aya Syed. From Plainville, Madison Shrey. From Branford, Alishba Siddiqui. From Manchester, Nicole Sousa. From Stafford, Dante Talamini. From Hebron, Hunter Tui. From East Hartford, Jaslyn Villanueva. From East Hartford, Leanna Zayadi. From South Windsor, Michelle Zen. All graduates, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2020. Miss Kristen Otang will lead the class in the turning of the tassels. Good evening, friends, families, and members of the SEBA class of 2020. As this year's graduating class, we would like to take this time to induct our official honorary member. This faculty member has been a supportive educator and role model in a difficult class. They have consistently worked to show us that we are all capable of success and emphasize the value of taking ownership and pride in our work. We have all struggled in this teacher's class at one point or another, and they have worked so hard to show the balance of learning from our mistakes and setting higher standards for ourselves. Most of all, they have taught us how to work hard and acquire new skills, whether they be in the lab or on Microsoft. While they push us to work our hardest, they also push themselves, showing selfless dedication with humble acknowledgement of our own efforts. In such a challenging DP course, we would not be able to succeed the way that we have if not for this teacher's dedication, organization, friendliness, and relatable personality. And though we have faced many pitfalls, he has been there to make sure every single one of us knows our worth and potential as students. Without further ado, we would like to induct Mr. Marciniak as our honorary member of the class of 2020. We thank you so much for everything you have done and wish you all the best in your new position as DP and MYP coordinator. Hello, my name is Becky Deloise. I am the sister of Michael Avalon, whose name graces this building. I want to extend my sincerest congratulations to all of you students, your parents, and your teachers for reaching this milestone. I would like to paraphrase a message Mr. Avalon gave to the first graduating class in SEBA's first yearbook titled, In the Beginning. In 2016, you, the class of 2020, and each of your parents took a risk to attend SEBA, a school with an exciting yet very demanding curriculum. Some of you had to board a van at 6.15 a.m. on bitterly cold mornings for a long, strange trip where you had no friends. Many of you do not get home until four in the afternoon or later to work on your extended essays and history assessments. But you came and you have succeeded. And I say yay to you all. Before I go into why I'm here, I want to tell you all that I have wondered if Mr. Aberlon were here, how would he have dealt with the change in everyone's life due to the sudden arrival of coronavirus with its stubborn COVID-19 
honestly, and so very Mr. Avalon-like, he would be smoking more cigarettes, swearing a bit, swallowing more Tums, and losing sleep. However, in the end, you must know, Mr. Avalon would definitely make sure you students and the faculty would be well taken care of. That was my brother's life. SIBA, its concept and curriculum, its building, and most important of all, every soul in it. As my brother would say to you on, different, on your different graduation day, cheers to you all. Now I'm here to congratulate whoever becomes the 2020 recipient of the Michael Avalon Scholarship. The following criteria explains what makes a deserving student earn the Michael Avalon Scholarship. One, the student needs not only be bright, but is deeply committed to learning and inquiry. Two, the student needs to have an edge and is not afraid to challenge the teachers from an intellectual perspective and keeps them on their toes. Three, finally, and most importantly, the student must exemplify the SEBA mission statement as a responsible, ethical, thoughtful, and informal citizen with a compassionate and tolerant soul capable of being a global leader. That's a lot. Thank you for carrying on my brother's vision. And once again, congratulations and cheers to all of you. Have a bright and interesting life. And as they say today, be healthy and safe. Hello, everyone. My name is Eva Kristinova, and I am last year's recipient of the Avalon Scholarship. It is my pleasure to announce that this year, the Avalon Scholarship is awarded to Saja Gary. Congratulations on this wonderful achievement and in general, congratulations to the class of 2020.